Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. This is the Tuesday edition, and today we find ourselves in 1 John chapter 4, picking up in verse 13. The Bible says, And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. All who declare that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them, and they live in God. We know how much God loves us because, and we know, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in the world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he first loved us. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And he has given us this command. Those who love God must also love their fellow believers. So 1 Corinthians chapter 13 has often been referred to as the love chapter of the Bible because it is read so often at weddings and at different um, occasions, but I would suggest to you today that First John chapter 4 is just as much, if not more, the love chapter of the Bible, because it, in a nutshell, talks about God's love, the fact that God is love, the type of love he has for us, and the type of love that we should have for one another. It talks about the proof of God's love being Jesus. It talks about the fact that anyone who has the true love of God in them is going to share that true love. It talks about the fact that we can know how much God loves us by the actions that he took in sending Jesus. That proved his love for us. Verse 18 is one of the key verses, and it's a key verse for anyone who is going through a difficult time, a fearful time. It says, such love, talking about the love of God, has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. It's talking about us having the love of God within us. It's talking about the fact that that love is perfect. And when we have the love of God within us, it has the ability to expel all fear. Why? Because we know how much God cares for us, how much he loves us, and, and that we know that according to Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good to those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. It doesn't say that all things are good, but that we know that in the long run, all things work together for the glory of God. He goes on and says, we love each other. Why? Because God loved us first. And then finally, he says, if someone says, I love God, but hates his fellow believer, that person is, is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we have never seen? I say to you again, 1 John chapter 4, the love chapter. May we all love God and love one another. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for these wonderful, wonderful words in this chapter from John. Thank you for the love that you have for us. Thank you that you are love. And help us today to love one another as you have loved us. And we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, I trust you'll have a terrific Tuesday. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.